All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I'm in the house with uh, eight uh, Shirogorov collaboration uh, right over here. And um, uh, first of all, I need to say a huge thank to my buddy uh, Guillaume and Marc Olivier for sending some of these guys along uh, for me to be able to uh, prepare and shoot this uh, pretty epic video. Uh, we're gonna go also through um, some specs of the uh, Shirogorov collaboration that I'm missing because there's another eight uh, at least that at least for my knowledge, uh, that I'm missing here. They're quite rare, quite expensive, pretty hard to get, but I'm gonna show you some pictures and I'm gonna tell you a couple of informations. Um, so uh, let's get started, but uh, for sure don't uh, forget to subscribe and to like this video if you're enjoying this kind of content. So let's see, first of all we can start with the Chris Reeve knives. Uh, this is the Uni Hattie. It is a frame lock. Uh, uh, there's uh, 10 uh, being produced uh, uh, per color um, and uh, the total length of this guy is 8.75 inches with a blade length of 3.75 inches. Uh, the steel employed for the blade is Vanex 37 and the handle is made out of uh, Alutex and uh, titanium um, uh, as the, for, for the scales. It runs on single ro roller bearings and uh, the weight is going to be 4.5 ounces, so pretty, pretty good. Uh, Next up is the Chris Reeve Knives uh, uh, Uni Hation. This is the latest uh, it, um, iteration of this collaboration. It's also a frame lock. There's also 10 um, each, uh, uh, 10 different graphics uh, per color. Uh, the length, of course, is going to be smaller. It's going to be reflecting the Hation uh, size uh, at a total length of 7.75 inches with 3.5 inch long blade in S90V uh, steel. Also, the handle are made of titanium and Alutex right over on top. As well, this guy is running on single row roller bearings and the weight is going to be 2.6 ounces, so really, really lightweight. Next up, we've got the uh, Sinkevich collaboration. Dmitry Sinkevich and Shirogorov, they made this beautiful jeans, which also is a frame lock with a 200 uh, total production. Um, overall length of this guy is going to be 8.7 inches, 3.75 inch long Vanax 37 steel blade titanium handle. This guy is running on multi-row bearing system with three rows of ball bearings and uh, 4.8 ounces for the weight. Next up, also another fantastic uh, Sinkevich collaboration. This is a liner lock in this case. Um, you have uh a hundred uh, made of these guys. Uh, I also know of uh, some prototypes, some very rare, like uh, uh, low, low production number, uh, like I think around 10 of these uh, uh, slightly different uh, blades. But the total length of this guy is gonna be 8.5 inches with a 3.5 inch long blade. And uh, the uh, handle is gonna be in G10 and titanium. And this guy actually runs on washers with an overall weight of 4.8 ounces so pretty good uh, next up we've got the Sinkevich also collaboration this is the cannabis another liner lock another hundred overall made a little bit uh, longer than the dark this is going to be nine inch overall in length with the 3.95 inch long blade uh, steel employed in this case is m390 uh, steel and uh, the handle are uh, in titanium and g10 and i'm pretty sure i saw some uh, micarta uh, handle as well and uh, this guy is going to run on multi-row bearings and the weight is going to be not that light at 5.7 ounces. Next up, we've got a beautiful, beautiful one. This is the uh, Sinkevich Techno Bamboo. Um, I'm pretty sure there's 10 only made of these guys with a total length of 8.1 inches and that blade length of 3.5 inches and Vanax 37 as the steel employed in this one. Titanium handle, it's nice frame lock, of course. And... Um, uh, it's gonna run on multi-row bearing system with a weight of 4.8 ounces. So really, really cool little guy right over here. Next up is a beauty. This guy is the Sinkevich Cord um, Cordinal. Uh, it's a frame lock, uh, only 65 made of these guys. 8.8 .8 inches overall length and 3.85 inch long blade. In this case, uh, they used ZDP 189 steel. And of course, this is a titanium frame lock and uh, it's running on three rows of multi-row bearing system and an overall weight of 5.6 ounces. Next up, um, there's a two 
pretty rare and uh, I, I found uh, some uh, uh, difficulties finding some information because this one is the Sinkevich collaboration Tetra and it's a liner lock. It's a, a mix of uh, carbon fiber and titanium handle material liner lock. There's only 16, uh, I believe, in uh, being produced um, with an overall length of 9.2 inches, so not a small boy, and a 3.9 inch long ATS-34 steel blade. I wasn't able to find the weight of this guy, but I'm, I'm assuming it's not that uh, heavy. Next up is the Sinkevich Nura collaboration. It's also a frame lock titanium with only 10 made and CPM 154 steel. Also, I couldn't find any more information. So please, if you know uh, any more details about this blade, you can uh, leave a comment down below. below. And next up, we're gonna have the uh, Dimitri Sinkevich Poluchotki. Uh, this is also a nice frame lock, uh, 200 made of these, uh, 9 inch long, um, 9.4 inch long overall length with 3.9 inch long M390 steel blade. Really, really cool uh, titanium frame lock. This guy is running on three rows, multi bearings uh, system with a 5.1. Uh, ounces of uh, uh, total weight and you can uh, actually uh, now see it better because in this case we have these guys here so you can see the micro milling that is basically basically going on in every of these guys so there's going to be one area in this case is like this chamfer right over here with that with the, some pretty detailed and pretty fine milling and an area that's going to be without milling like all these titanium guys right there uh, and you're gonna see like a pattern uh, of uh, um, like for the clip uh, the backspacer and the uh, pivot you're gonna see some colors some matching uh, colors and it's it's just beautiful because it creates a very very attractive attractive knife and in this case you've got a blue anodized titanium pivot uh, pocket clip and backspacer right there great sound it's a little bit of a big boy for me, but it feels great in the handle. Don't feel any hot spot. And it's uh, the Shirogorov Sinkevich Poluchotki collaboration. Uh, next up, we've got uh, another Sinkevich um, collaboration with Shirogorov. This is the Sigma. It's a liner lock. Uh, there's 200 made of these guys. Um, it's uh, carbon fiber and uh, uh, some titanium um, liner right underneath, only on the lock side. And you're gonna see uh, just a beauty here. Uh, 200 made, 9 inch overall in length, uh, with a 3.9 inch long blade, M390 steel, amazing, amazing action. This guy run, runs on multi-row bearings and I believe there is somewhere written on the inside, uh, right there. You can see the pivot system uh, employed and this guy is going to be weighting in at 3.1 ounces, like, yeah. 3.1 ounces for an almost four inch long blade. It's just crazy. It's fantastic. Break, beautiful milling going on, like with this wavy pattern going on on the carbon fiber. Action is just stellar, like, and the sound. One of the best sounding Shiro uh, I've tried. And uh, of course, uh, titanium pocket clip, uh, blue anodized titanium uh, backspacer, hidden hardware for the clip of this uh, collaboration over here. Next up, we've got uh, the uh, Sinkevich uh, Pero Flipper. Uh, this is also another very, very cool uh, collaboration. 200 made of these guys. Overall length of this beauty is 8.62 inches with a 3.75 inch long blade. In this case, it's Vanax 37 steel, uh, fantastic carbon fiber liner lock, uh, also titanium uh, backspacer, titanium pocket clip, 3D milled hidden hardware. This guy is gonna weigh in a little bit more uh, than the Sigma, it's 3.3 uh, uh, ounces. So still really, really cool blade. Fantastic custom pivot. Of course, you've got the Sinkovich uh, uh, tool right there. And uh, this is the action, guys. So cool. Uh, of course, like unobtrusive flipper tab, uh, pretty much very similar to uh, the Sigma right there. 
Next up, you've got a Tom Mayo Doctor Death Arctic uh, collaboration. This is a frame lock. There's only a hundred made of these guys, and um, uh, it's it's a pretty cool one. A, um, overall length of this one is going to be 8.75 inches with a 3.875 inch long dama steel blade um, i said uh, many times i'm not really a fan of uh, holes in the handle but in this case it kind of makes sense uh, i don't know why but still it's not my cup of tea but in this case i get it it's tom mayo collaboration that's like kind of like its signature and it's uh, nicely done uh, nicely chamfered in this uh, alutex uh, uh, scale right here this guy is running on single row roller bearings and that's why the action is actually pretty smooth it's uh, the sound is dampened it's not that loud it's one of the quietest shiro i've tried and the weight of this guy is going to be 3.5 ounces nice little detail over here for the collaboration and also like i like this detail here with the hole in the pocket clip of course uh, uh, the hardware is hidden and you start from now on to see the uh, shiro guard of uh, uh, pivot which is keyed in with a ball bearing right underneath that and pivot collar uh, usually matching the pocket clip or the backspace but not in this case but still really really cool one next one uh, is the rj martin collaboration this is the russian overkill another beast uh, beautifully done i have to say 200 of these guys were made nine inch long overall in length uh, with a four inch long uh, m398 blade not m390 this is the newest iteration of the steel titanium frame lock this guy is running on single ro roller bearings and of, of course you can see pivot collar pocket clip custom division screws backspacer also pivot color right over here anodized matching with in, in the same color and i think it's a uh, it's just a, a nice touch action on this guy is just unreal uh, sound is super cool as well and uh, i mean look at this i mean not much uh, to say it's just uh, just a great one you have um, an unusual option of uh, lanyard hole just drilled through that and not uh, embedded in the backspacer like uh, for these guys uh, the weight of this guy is going to be 4.6 ounces uh, i don't know if i already said that but uh, it's uh, it feels pretty good in the hand especially because there is uh, some milling pockets uh, on the inside really really nice one uh, next up we've got the brad southard uh, russian flipping tanto collaboration right there amazing amazing micro milling going on on the central uh, part of this guy and look at that this beauty is fantastic also 200 made of these uh, titanium frame lock uh, a 9.17 inch long overall with a 3.94 inch long tanto m390 blade this guy is running on single row roller bearings but look at this it's like just ridiculous like the action is just this good it's like a, a guillotine uh so just be careful and but i mean it, it's fantastically done beautiful sleek it's employing um m390 steel uh single row roller bearings 5.1 ounces in the pocket and as well you're gonna have uh uh, blue anodized titanium pivot colors matching with the backspacer lanyard solution is done like that the clip doesn't have a hidden screw and it's not uh, uh, anodized but still really really cool especially for this like crazy smooth action next up is the lee william uh, collaboration uh, this is the uh, 110 ks which stands for kickstop because uh, you've got um, you can see right over there uh, you've got the kickstop mechanism right here for the flipper tab which basically it's like unhinged uh, it's like another piece it's not separate you see like from the uh, actual tang of the blade and uh, it's uh, creating a very very cool effect like of disappearing a flipper tab when the blade is deployed uh, really really cool one these guys are um, 
uh, very nice. They uh, there's a um, hundred made per color. I, uh, uh, there's uh, blue, um, bronze, and gray um, matching pivot uh, um, color, uh, custom screws, backspacer, and uh, pocket clip. Uh, so a hundred each color for these guys. Uh, the overall length of this bad boy is 9.8 ounces uh, inches. So it's uh, uh, the biggest of the bunch, and with a 4.37 inch long blade. Uh, fantastic, uh, fantastic S90V uh, steel, uh, also titanium, beautifully milled. I mean, guys, look at that. Um, this guy is uh, uh, weighing in at 5.6 ounces. Just look at the detail for a second of that centering backspacer right here. Just crazy. The milling going on is just nuts on this one. So really, really cool piece. And uh, uh, last but not least, we've got the uh, Barker collaboration. This is the Russian Hokkaido, another titanium frame lock, uh, a really really cool one, 200 of these guys were made. Uh, the overall length of this one is 8.8 .8 inches, it's really tall. It has a 3.75 inch long blade, look at that, and this is Vanax 37 steel. Uh, also this guy is running on single row roller bearings with a weight of 6 ounces, so I believe this is the heaviest of the bunch. It's uh, even if there's uh, some uh, internal skeletonization, the blade stock is quite thick and uh, uh, it's gonna be reflected in the weight. Of course, you've got uh, 3D mill titanium pocket clip with hidden hardware, um, the bronze uh, anodized copper uh, kind of looking backspacer is matching uh, both the pivot colors, not the clip and not the hardware in this case, but still, uh, it is very, very interesting, fantastic action, uh, like it's it has probably the one of the best closing action almost silent really really cool and also centering back spacer right there it's uh, in uh, place so really really nice option uh, as well uh, from uh, the barker collaborate collaboration and uh, uh, so these are uh, just a quick uh, overview of the collaboration of, between these amazing knife makers and Shirogorov. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.